emissions. That's what it's about. What I have here is fuels, and I've soaked chem sticks in the fuels. They're little oak chem sticks found in every chemistry lab. So I've soaked this. I've soaked it for a month. This is gasoline. Gasoline has a flashpoint, so I'm going to put it over here. It has 90% gasoline and 10% alcohol. The 10% alcohol is added to make the fuel burn cleaner. Part of Illinois. Ooh, it's not very clean at all, is it? Now let's compare that for a moment to E85, what they burn in Brazil. 85% alcohol, 15% gasoline. That's the ratio uh, in the Midwest. It's mostly alcohol. It was, it would really clean up our atmosphere if we burnt E85. 85% alcohol, 15% gasoline. Note the comparison between the two. E85 burns quite cleanly, thank you. What a difference. You uh, have that lawn boy mower that uses a gas oil mix. Here I take one of these sticks, okay, and I put it in the clay and I light it up and you'll notice that one of the worst is two cycle mix because it's got oil and gasoline mixed together and you'll notice that California legislates this um, they'll have to have catalytic converters on their mowers next year and they're trying to phase out oil gas mixtures okay we'll end up here with kerosene uh, kerosene is basically what jet fuel is about so uh, you see those jets coming in for landing wind up in the sky on Friday night don't think that they're not putting out some pollution into the sky that eventually you breathe in. After several hours, the emissions settle onto the filter paper.